So myself is Professor Dipankar Bandopadhyay. I am a professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, and I am also very much closely associated with uh, Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Guwahati. And presently, I am the head of Jyoti and Bhupat Mehta School of Health Sciences and Technology. Diabetes is one of the major, uh, major, major non-communicable diseases uh, that has been uh, that has been under the scanner right now in India because. Uh, I mean, our population uh, is consuming high glycemic foods, and then that is leading to different types of diabetic complications. And one of the major uh, major uh, treatments of diagnostics is that uh, diabetes is the disease management. Okay, so disease management means you are going to do the diabetes management, and for diabetes management, it is very very important to uh, really. Uh, look into the glycemic index of the food. So um, the the present generation is consuming different types of uh, different types of fast foods, which are typically high glycemic in nature. The foods with high glycemic index indices, and then you know those uh, uh, those foods are leading to rapid increase in the starch level uh, inside the blood. And that is what is the major reason for the diabetes management. In terms of di diabetes management, that becomes a very big roadblock because if there is rapidly digesting starch inside our diet, you know that leads to rapid increase in glucose, and that rapid increase in glucose leads to, you know, very uh, malmanagement of our diabetic health. So overall, one need to have a kind of device where at the source level. When we are consuming the food at the source level, we should have the idea that whether the food is a rapidly digest, whether the food source is having rapidly digesting starches, whether the food source is having slowly digesting starches, or whether the food source is having the resistant starches. Right? The level of food intake. It is very very important that we classify these foods. And uh, the present invention is, say, suppose. If somebody is taking a chips, if somebody is taking a biscuit, if somebody is taking rice sources, if somebody is taking breads, you will be able to really differentiate between them that whether the food contains more rapidly digesting starch, more slowly digesting starch, or more resistant starch. I am Prathuraja Parmar from the Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I am working under supervision of Professor Dipankar Vandupadhyay. Uh, as we know that the food have a direct correlation. With the health, what we eat. So we have developed a glycemic index sensor uh, in order to prevent the diabetes or manage the diabetes. For the glycemic index sensor, we have used the alpha amylase enzyme that is used to synthesize the gold nanoparticle of different enzymatic activity and sizes, from which the superior one we have chosen in order to develop a sensor which has the highest enzymatic activity as compared to free alpha amylase. So uh, this is about the synthesized AUNP alpha one is nanocomposer solution. So we have to take this solution and mix with the real sample, either with a starch or a real sample. So we have taken a starch solution into which uh, we will mix our synthesized nanocomposite. So that synthesized nanocomposite will be mixed with the starch. And during after mixing, what happens? The alpha amylase enzyme it degrades the starch. It degrades the starch and maltose is produced. So we will allow this reaction to take place. And after five minutes of the reaction, we will take. We will take the uh, mixture of the solution which has the maltose after completing the reaction, and we will mix with the potassium hexacyanoferrate third, and and we will do the chronoamperometry by using the potentiostat, and we will detect the concentration of maltose when the potassium hexacyanoferrate third will convert it into the second. So the technology is has been developed into a kind of it's a research prototype right now. So we want to translate. We have already published and patent. And we want to translate this particular research uh, output into a kind of product. So, what is the final goal? The final goal is to convert into a kind of uh, a point of care testing device, where at the level of food source, if somebody is uh, dispensing a drop of uh, food source of a particular concentration, this particular device will be able to identify the glycemic index of the food. Which will directly go to uh, 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 wirelessly directly go to the mobile phone, and from there it will be able to really tell whether the food is in the red zone for a diabetic patient, 
whether it is it is it is in the yellow zone or whether it is in the green zone so people will be able to decide whether the food is good for diabetic management or bad for diabetic management at the source